At the age of eight was where I began to really train to be a knight. It was my life's path and ever since a village was attacked and they came to my rescue. I started off as a simple page, moving to the castle and gaining bar strength. My usual activities were wrestling, riding horses, and sparring with Quante. That's a sack of hay used to train with, as you would call it, a dummy. After years and years of playing combat, I moved on to the more important but less exciting role as a squire. I had to tend to his steed, make sure his weaponry was top notch, and prepare him for combat. You might call me a maid, but nothing would ever have been better for me. For I got to help my knight while fighting, with the chance to see up close how sword play was really done. Then one fateful day, my chance of work had finally come. The alarms were raised, and before I knew it, they were against a huge dragon. The honor of defending the castle was all theirs as they fought bravely. For the night I turned to, I fallen down after merciless attempts were made by the lizard to kill the other. With my strike, I managed to save him just in time by diving in and getting him out of the path of his foot. Without hesitating, I took a nearby sword and flung him a mighty throw. His much luck that struck a drug in the church caused me to go into a frenzy. Panicking, I fled the area with Jolly Church being a trail of blood. Due to my heroics, that same day my time had finally come, and I was noted by Her Majesty herself. And since then, I've conquered many a foe, and lived to tell the tale. That was an interesting, wonderful story, Mr. Knight! But I still find it hard to believe you actually fought a dragon! I mean, it's just folklore! <laughs> Punish your lord over perfect timing. Throw me thy sword. It is go time, Dolby. Cut. Back to you, Ted. Thank you, Dan. Stay tuned to find out an unbelievable discovery that could change the way we look at ancient tribes forever. Good. Hey, how did we even get that flashback onto the film? Uh, Ted, we're still rolling. What? 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 Have you ever been in one of those situations where you're in the forest and you spot the perfect mountain lion for dinner with your family and you realize your blow darts aren't strong enough? You can go and get better ones! But that would cost you everything you had. Now, you can get the perfect blow dart from the Tuna Blow Dart Company. Constructed of fine bamboo, its sleek design makes it the perfect blow dart for those faraway targets. And unlike those ones with the huge shooting rods, these ones come in a convenient 12 inch rod, ideal for instant use. But what really makes this the top rod for the extremely low venom drop stored inside. The poison gut frog of the Amazon. The lethal injecting injection can kill in as little as 30 seconds. The fastest kill ever for those on the go hunters. Tear blow dots. Unbelievable prices for unbelievable potency. And for instant saying dust, ask for tuna killer bee blow dots. Welcome back. A group of archaeologists, on a search for artifacts out in the dense jungles, have probably stumbled upon the greatest find yet. We got a reporter Mitch Frixel with the story. Mitch? Is playing? Yeah. Uh, we're in the middle of a forest right now with two of the world's greatest archaeologists, Mr. Moisha and Mr. Ouija. Who, who uncovered something Shh. very unbelievable. Come here. Yes. Well, me and my silent colleague here were looking for a simple burial site, nothing fancy, when suddenly Mr. Ouija crashed into a wall. I looked up and I saw a mm, cheetah-like thing. At first I flinched, but then I realized that it wasn't going to pounce. A closer look revealed that the cheetah was made of stone. The whole place was one huge stone. I incredible! And... And have you found any treasure yet? What? No, as my colleague says, we have yet to uh, go into the exhibition, but we will. What but was that? We will. What was that? But we will. We will. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay, manly streams. Hold on. Wait, can you hold me again? Back to the 
get a carriage! Oh, 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 Well, I don't know how we did it, but we managed to escape from that fiasco. Mr. Morshu, Mr. Ouija, and the cameraman and I, huh? Managed to escape. Back to you, Ted. Oh. Thank you for that exciting news, Brent, reporter Mitch. Well, it looks like that's all the time we have. Thanks for watching Timeline. I'm Anchorman Ted, signing off.